Hello and welcome to the third part of this series about the flower festivals of St. Lucia of La Rose and La Marguerite. So before, previously in the first two episodes, we discussed some of the origins out of the Enlightenment, some of the influence maybe coming out of Africa, some of the idea of Rosicrucianism and Freemasonry helping to influence it slavery and why enslaved people may have had to have secret societies to discuss those ideas coming out of the enlightenment or ideas of freedom and revolt and marinage. Right now we're going to be looking at the idea of the clothing, the colors we looked at of blue and red, red for the rose and blue for the La Marguerite and why La Rose and La Marguerite may have had those colors. Right now we will look at the idea of the attire, of the dandiness of the attire and the chicness of the attire. So growing up in St. Lucia, if you were well dressed and looking rather fine, um, somebody like my grandma or some of the older person would tell you in Creole, vous êtes philosophe or you look like a philosophe or you look like a philosophe. So philosophe came from um, a philosopher, from the idea. So the philosophes were quite interesting during the time of the Enlightenment. And so we're going to break that down that for the final part of this, of looking at the idea of a philosophe. So here we go. So for the dressing code of the looking in the um, colonial era of prince and princesses and kings and queens of the flower festivals attire and um, military gear and all that but the idea is to look rather chic or rather good looking and we believe that comes from the philosophers or intellectuals which were growing up because if somebody said to you you look philosoph in creole means you look rather well dressed so the French philosophers were the intellectuals of the 18th century European Enlightenment. Few were primary philosophers, rather philosophes were public intellectuals who applied reason to the study of many areas of learning, including philosophy, history, science, politics, economics, and social issues. They promoted a republic of letters that crossed national boundaries from all, going all around and allow intellectuals to freely exchange books and ideas. Most philosophers were men, but some of them were women. They strongly endorsed progress and tolerance as they distrusted organized religion and feudal institution. So the ancient regime, they distrusted, and the power of the Catholic Church, they distrusted and spoke against that. So you will see the building of secret societies to discuss those ideas against the ruling and elites. So philosophy is the French word for philosopher and was a word that the French Enlightenment thinkers usually applied to themselves. The philosophers wrote for a broadly educated public of readers who snatched up every Enlightenment book they could find at their local booksellers even when rulers or churches tried to forbid such books being read. So between 1740 and 1789 the Enlightenment acquired its name, and despite heated conflicts between the philosophers and state and religious authorities, they gained support in the highest reaches of government. Although philosophy is a French word, the Enlightenment could be found globally, all around, including in the Caribbean on slave colonies, including what inspired the Haitian Revolution and uprisings in Martinique, St. Lucia, and other colonies with plantation using slave labor during that time. In 1784, the German philosopher Immanuel Kant summed up the, pro the program of the Enlightenment in two Latin words, saper or de. Remember that word, saper, sapere or de, or sapere, dare to know, meaning have the courage to think for yourself, have the courage to think for yourself. So this was a type of thought permeating in the time. So the philosophers used reasoning to attack superstition, bigotry, and religious fanaticism, which they considered the chief obstacles to free thought and social reform. Voltaire took religious fanaticism as his chief target. Once fanaticism has corrupted a mind, the malady is almost incurable. 
and that the only remedy for this epidemic malady is the philosophical spirit. Enlightenment writers did not necessarily oppose organized religion, but they strenuously objected to religious intolerance. They believed that a society based upon reason instead of religious fanaticism would improve the way people think and culminate in a more critical scientific outlook on social issues and problems. At times, membership in the flower societies had been illegal and it had also been condemned by the Roman Catholic Church. So during that time, uh, no, during the history of this flower festivals in St. Lucia, you could, they were sometimes condemned by both the church and even rulers. So, nevertheless, the societies have survived, although the nature has changed throughout the centuries. Kind of give you an idea of the, during the Enlightenment, the fight that the, philosoph the philosophers or philosophers were going through as well, mimicking the flower festival societies of St. Lucia. So, a modern day take on this offshoot of wearing beautiful or good looking garments for a dandy or a fop, which we'll discuss about the idea of this, the book, The Scarlet Pimpernel. But a modern day take is you should look at what are called the philosophy, um, a movement in Congo, which are called Le Sape. Okay, so there's documentaries on the Le Sape, S A P E, and uh, it is quite interesting. It reminds me of the dressing up like a philosopher in modern day. So the abbreviation Le Sape is based on the phrase Society de Ambiance et de Personne Elegance. French literally Society of Ambience Makers and Elegant People. And hinting to the French slang word Sape, which means clothes or Sape. Remember I told you to remember the word Sape, which Voltaire used, right? It's kind of that idea of elegance, but elegance of thought. And this, there's a part in the Democratic Republic of Congo which this history still goes on, right? You should look up the documentary on Le Sape. An adherent to Le Sape, known as a sapeur, or if female, as a sapuzi, the movement embodies the elegance in style and manners of colonial predecessors, the dandies, or a fop, which you can find from the Scarlet Pimpernel. The protagonist was considered to be a dandy or a fop. And this is about the French Revolution, the Scarlet Pimpernel book. Look up that book as well. There's a great documentary on the Saps in Congo, like I said. Check it out. Sapes were prominently featured in the 2012 music video for Solange Losing You. And Sapers were featured in the 2008 music video All the Stars by the, Cartist, by the artist Kendrick Lamar. So, I said the book The Scarlet Pimpernel, you should look it up. Basically, it is described as in 1792, an early stage of the, at the early stage of the French Revolution, Marguerite, remember La Marguerite, the female protagonist, Saint Just, a beautiful French actress, is married to a wealthy English fop, a dandy, Sir Percy Blakeney, baronet. Before their marriage, Ma Marguerite took revenge upon the Marquis de saint Sir, who had ordered her brother beaten for his romantic interest in the Marquis' daughter, with the unintended consequences that the Marquis and his sons were guillotined. When Percy found out he became estranged from his wife, Marguerite, for her part, became delusional with Percy's shallow, dandyish style. Meanwhile, the link of the Scarlet Pimpernel, a secret society of 20 English aristocrats, one to command and 19 to obey, is engaged in rescuing their French counterparts from the daily execution of the reign of terror during the French Revolution. So there you have it. We looked at the history of St. Lucia, coupled with its contextualization of major global events like the French Revolution, most likely influenced the founding of these flower festivals and societies. We can infer they were a group that supported the Royalists and the Catholic Church and other groups that supported the Republican and the Enlightenment ideas as well. A hodgepodge of ideas, groups, there was a rise in secret societies, the La Marguerite and La Wars, Freemasonry, lodges, for example, around the world, to allow for safe places to convey ideas and to organize. Always remember that this was an era of persecution and execution for thoughts and ideas unlike today. Some groups were against slavery, others were part of it or looking to support it. But this, we looked at the flower festivals of St. Lucia, unique to St. Lucia, La Wars and La Marguerite. Hope you enjoy and look forward to bringing you more. Thank you.